Humans are direct developers. We start as one cell and grow into tens of trillions of cells, and as we grow, we maintain and adhere to a similar body plan. Most animals undergo profound anatomical and physiological changes throughout their life history, like the mosquito Aedes aegypti. Similarly, the fruit fly Drosophila melanogaster starts as an egg and hatches into mobile larval instar stages before becoming encased in an immobile pupal stage and undergoing a metamorphosis, emerging as an adult. Where do these terms pupa and larva come from? They are first used by Carl Linnaeus, the Swedish zoologist and botanist and physiologist, in a series of editions of the book Systema Naturae. It's hard to know exactly why these terms were chosen, but they're Latin words. Larva translates to ghost or disembodied spirit or mask. So perhaps it was an effort to suggest that the larva appear to be little spirits or look like little ghosts or leaning into the mask idea, where one form is hiding another form underneath. In Latin, pupa translates to girl, doll, or puppet. In this case, perhaps he was suggesting that the pupal stage, like a doll, or a puppet, or a girl, is a smaller, miniature, immature form. As always, if you'd like to learn more, I'll link to references.